This is a quick tutorial on how to set up the basics of the dialogue system with Corgi Platformer Engine. I'm starting in a copy of the Retro Mountain scene in which the only change I've made is to add an NPC, but it's not set up for the dialogue system yet. The first step is to add a Dialogue Manager game object. Add a Dialogue System Corgi Event Listener component. If you want to tie the Dialogue System Save System into Corgi's Save System, tick Handle MM Save Load. You'll also need to assign a Dialogue Database. Next, we'll set up the NPC. Add a Conversation Zone prefab to the NPC. You can customize how this looks later. The Conversation Zone is similar to Corgi's Dialogue Zone component, except it works with the Dialogue System. There's a Dialogue System section down at the bottom that you can configure. It also has a Dialogue System trigger from which you can select the conversation. Also check the Dialogue Actor component and select the correct actor. Finally, we'll set up the Player Prefab. If your Player Prefab has an animator that needs to stop certain animations while in Dialogue, add a Dialogue System trigger and set it to On Conversation Start. Then select Add Action, Play Sequence, and set up some sequencer commands to set up the animator the way you need. In the case of the Retro Corgi prefab, we don't need to do that, but we do need to stop the footstep dust particles that run through the walk feedbacks. Add a Dialog System Events component, and configure On Conversation Start to stop the walk feedbacks. We'll need to go into the prefab for that. Assign Walk Feedbacks, and select MM Feedbacks Stop Feedbacks. We save our prefab, and let's play the scene. Here we can run up to the NPC and start a dialogue system conversation. There's much more that you can do with this integration, such as working with Inventory Engine and enabling or disabling abilities in conversations. For details on those advanced features, please see the Corgi support page in the Dialogue Systems online manual.